Hi, Maricela. Good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Sorry. <laughs> My kid uh, just give me a um, chocolate. Chocolate. Oh, delicious. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chocolate. Chocolate. Uh -huh. Nice. Wow. I'm the first one. I know. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy that you're the first one. How was your day? Fine, fine, fine. Um, I'm gonna go out uh, in the morning. Mm -hmm. I went so, out. Mm -hmm. So it it's a little stressing. Yeah. For me. Yeah. But and what, you? What is your job about? What do you do? <clears throat> I'm a lawyer. Ah, you're a lawyer. Okay. Yes. yes. Do you have like your own buffet, or do you work for a company? Um for myself <laughs> and for a company and, and from Guatemala. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm a representative uh, of Buffet in El Salvador. Nice. So most yes. likely you have to meet a lot of people and that's what gets you a little bit nervous. That you have to be yes. in touch with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, go to the, um, a lot of institutions, mm -hmm. public institutions. Okay, yes, public institutions. Mm -hmm. and <clears throat> today I, I went to Gobernación, mm -hmm. it's a very official, <clears throat> so, yes. Yeah, every I think everybody's like goes outside and feels hectic. I was reading an article, girls, that a, a people, doctors say that it's better if you get the disease, if you get the disease, um, it is better if you get it a, with low symptoms, of course, right? Uh huh. It's better if you get it than just be scared all the time that you're going to get it. So I think that. I don't know, like people's perception is like, oh my God, if I get it, I'm going to die. That's what everybody thinks. No. Uh -huh. no. But I think that if it's, it's okay if you get it, like if it's the flu or something, then, you know, it's, symptoms are, are going to be different in every individual. Yes, yes. It's as long true. as the symptoms are minimum, not intense, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for yes. sharing. Maria Elena, good evening. Jesse was there. Good evening. How are you, Maria Elena? <laughs> Hello? Maybe I cannot listen. Luis, good evening. I cannot listen to you, Maria Elena. No sound. Hi, good evening. Hi, Luis. Good evening. How are you? How was your day? Fine, I just have finished my work. Okay. Well, today's <laughs> Thursday. Yes, tell me. <clears throat> How I can put a photo. Ah. My oh. profile. I, I tried and I tried and I tried and I can't. If you, go, if you go to your screen, there's like three little dots on the corner of your, of your window. Like right now on your screen, you have mute and three little dots on one corner yes. of your window where your name is. Yes, yes. If you click there, if you click there, it will display um, on those three little buttons, it will display a menu. Yes. It should be able to say change name and and I think add a photo mm. or maybe. No. Uh -huh. Mute, start video, rename, hide video, participant, and self view only, only or maybe only. or maybe or maybe you have to do it but on the main window on on internet on google like when you act on on the settings on the settings you know the little wheel maybe if you go to your profile that's where you can upla upload your picture mm -hmm. like I when you add your uh-huh you're have doing a, it from your cell uh, phone no my pc Mm -hmm. So I have a a photo on my profile, some profile, mm 
I have a photo. And when I chat with another person, uh -huh. my photo appears, oh. but here no. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, so, because like if you go to yes. your, like this menu per se, there's usually on the Zoom yes. window, there should be like a little <clears throat> circle here, like settings, and that's where you should be able to actually go to profile and change picture and change name, how you want your name to yes. show up. I will find out and I will tell you later. Okay. okay. Thank you. Hi. Okay. Super. Hi. Hello, guys. So, it, tonight, guess what? Well, we're going to be doing the final test today, but we still have a class tomorrow. Remember that missing class? We still have our last class tomorrow. But before I want to do my own exam for you to actually find out if you are at an intermediate level. That way you can do your own test of how to find out, you can find out if you are an intermediate level. So I want to show you and I want to explain before we go into this very short exam. I will send you the links because you have to do it individually. So in around the world, this is like, it's called the Common European Framework. So this is a reference. This is actually how a lot of the businesses you know, worldwide are uh, asking their employees to categorize themselves in a ranking in regards to any type of language. This could not only be English, it could be French, German, etc. This works for all the languages because it's something standardized. So I'm trying to come up here. I'm going to show you what is the common European framework of reference in regards to in regards to numbers so for example here for a1 this is basic so the first tab is basic then in the middle we have intermediate and c is advanced but let me start explaining a1 is low basic and it doesn't have a score okay it doesn't have a score it doesn't have a score but a2 so it's zero this is zero so you don't have you don't get a score when you're basic but when you go all the way to inter when you go all the way to high uh, beginner per se, then that's where you have a score, okay? So here you have, that's where we start scoring. Here, if you are a high basic, the score that they give you is four when you're in basic. When you move to low intermediate, which is B1, then your ranking in grade would be between four and five. Then, once you go to in high intermediate, then you become a 5.5 and you can reach a 6.5. When you move to the next level, which is C1, this is advanced, low advanced, then you reach a 6.5 all the way to a 7.5 and maximum eight. And then when you become super pro and super advanced, then you become an eight and a nine. But as you can see, there is no 10. So we don't have a 10 and we don't have a zero, one, two, three here. We don't have that. We start grading from four. So somebody will have a score all the way when that person is a high basic. Okay. So that's, so this is like what the ranking for you to have an idea. And once we take the test that we're about to take, you're going to find out if you are if you are in listening basic or intermediate or advanced, we don't know because you're going to be taking the test right now. What about in grammar? Are you basic, intermediate, or advanced? We don't know yet, okay? So this is in regards to the Common European Framework or CERF. I'm sorry, CEFR. Now, these are the two links that I'm going to be sharing you. One is grammar and vocabulary, and the other one is listening. So I want you to do both of them. So I'm going to be here, okay, giving you guys time. I will give you time because it's tested. This first exam, I'm going to share the link. It's going to be different for everybody because when I share the link, it will populate new questions. It, it always populates new questions. So everybody will get different questions. But at the end of the exam, at the end of the time, because you have no more than 10 minutes to do it, at the end, you will get a letter and a number. So I want you to take a print screen of it and share it with me. That way you tell me, hey, it was a C1 or it was a B2. It's okay, it's just for you to know where are you standing according to this exam, okay? Questions? No. 
Okay, super. So I will send you, I will send you right now the link. That way you guys do it. I'm going to send it through here. This is the first one. Okay. You cannot take more than 10 minutes to do it because it's actually time. Once you start, it's actually time. Okay. So good luck. And let me know what your score is. Okay. Mm. when you finish it let me know please i hope that everybody starts at the same time like right now
Are you guys almost done? No, teacher. What number are you in, Maricela? 11. Okay, super. What about the rest? Samuel, Antonio, Flor, Luis, what number are you guys in? Jesse. Okay, for those of you who are already done with the grammar exam, I'm going to go ahead and share the listening link, okay? That we go ahead and do it. 10, 15 minutes, the most. I already shared it, shared the link on the chat. Good luck for this one. The idea with this exam, and I want to be clear, the idea with this exam is for you to listen to the audio one time, okay? That way you can be, you know, honest with yourself because if you listen to it more than once, real tests, in real life tests like TOEFL, TOEIC, etc., they just give you one opportunity for you to listen to the audio, okay? So be honest with yourselves and listen to the audio just one time, okay? Good luck. It's quite simple. All you have to do is plug it into the computer tower. Have you got the wire?
was laid down and you got them and all the rest. Yes, if that's okay. Well, as long as we're done by five, we have to think about what we've done. I'm sure we'll be finished. Well, that's it. Are you guys almost done? How are you guys doing? What number are you guys in? I'm in the last. I'm number finished. 15? You finished? Yes. Okay, what was your score, Maricela, in both exams? Excuse me? What was your score? C1. C1 in both? C1 too. C1 in listening or C1 in grammar? Oh, teacher, I listen in the both. C1 and C1. Super. But I, I only listen. <laughs> C1. Okay, good. I have a good mistake. Time. Yes, but uh, to the first link, it's to listen. And the second link no. was, no, the first link was grammar, and the second link was listening. Ah, okay, yeah. No. <laughs> I only do the listening. Ah, Sorry, teacher. <laughs> it's okay. Then you can do the grammar and let me know uh, if you want, like, on an inbox what your score is, okay? I got uh, B2 and C1. B2 in what, Antonio? Uh, B2 in grammar. Okay, that's and intermediate, uh, high intermediate, uh-huh. Yeah, and C1 and listening. Super, okay, so you're set. Yep. That, that means that you're in the level that you're supposed to be. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And you're advanced too, that's good. You have very good listening skills, that's great. Oh, thanks. Teacher, but that, but it's too difficult. I mm -hmm. it's a British, mm -hmm. British accent. It's difficult because of the vocabulary. <laughs> difficult. Mm -hmm. um, and just I listening to it the, once. Uh -huh. The movie uh, with uh, Ronald uh, <laughs> I don't remember. Um, I don't remember the name of that movie. Ronald Selweger. Mm. Um, Bridget Jones. Bridget huh? Jones. <laughs> it's so difficult. <laughs> yeah. 
and this is a good exercise for you to test yourself if you know it's not only American English but also British English and the majority of exam standardized exams have this particular accent like British the audios for TOEFL for TOEIC are very British mainly for TOEFL because it's something very old school so a uh, the sound of the tapes are British because that was the first influence for the for learning languages that's where it all started it didn't start in the U.S. all the books like my father for example when he learned English he learned English with the British program and then Olka also had a British program a, and so on and so forth so the majority of programs or the first programs in English that came to this side of the world were British and then the U.S. tried to innovate and they started running on their own programs like interchange you know and all those sorts of books they came along with okay okay super well I'm, I'm glad you guys had a good score if you want later on you can print screen um, share your screenshot with your score to see what you guys got okay and um, I don't want to lose more time and I want to go to the final exam and on the platform uh, have you guys finished with it have you guys done it or um, do you guys have any questions about this particular exam the final exam okay this is intermediate what this is intermediate uh-huh can you go to the platform and tell me if you guys have questions about the exam Super, Samuel, B1 and C1, super, I'm happy, yay. That's where I I knew you guys were gonna be. I knew you were gonna be an intermediate and for one, you were gonna be intermediate and for listening, usually it's higher than, than, than the, mm -hmm. super. Okay, so going to the platform, can everybody go to the platform, please? And tell me if you guys had any questions with part A, part B, part C, Part D before I display the answers, or you have not done the exam yet, the final exam. It's done. Hmm? I'm gonna do tomorrow. Okay. The final exam is done. Yours is done already. Someone? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you finished. You don't have any questions whatsoever on the platform? No, no, no. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm already there, but I will do it maybe tonight or tomorrow. Okay, so we can check. I, I was asking, so tomorrow before we end the class, maybe we can go over the answers in case, you know, I'm just going to give you tonight for mm -hmm. everybody just to, you know, um, okay. do it on your own. And then we can go over the answers tomorrow. Okay, okay. great. Let me share okay. a link with you guys, which is our last exercise. Okay. This should take us before, like 10 minutes before we guys leave. Um, let me share the link. I want everybody to open it up because okay. I want you guys to do it too. Now, this is very important. I think that uh, as part of learning uh, English, it's also always going over the verse for you not to forget it. Even though we have many lists on the internet, but it's not the same just to go over them and just practice them past past possible, but also write them. So I want you all to open up the link and yep. try to do this last exercise in 10 minutes. Do you think you can do it? I will try. Okay, yeah, ready? It's possible. Is everybody there? <laughs> Tell me when you guys are ready so we can, uh, you know, ready? ready? Yes, all right. <laughs> wrong go oh. <laughs> okay go ahead and do it i'll give you 10 minutes and you tell me what's your score at the end if you don't know some of the verbs just go continue doing the exercise and then come back to the to the missing spaces try to do as many as you can and always go back and at the end just go over the ones that you don't know So the, the main goal is to do as many as we can. As you can. Mm -hmm. And just leave in blank the ones you don't remember right now. The idea is for me to find out which ones are the ones you were like, uh... 
Okay. I need to share a list with you. There is a couple of exceptions. There's one exception with a couple of verbs. I'm going to share it with you. I find the image here. Share with you. This is the exception for those verbs. There's like a couple of verbs, like 10 or eight verbs that in English can be ED or T. They can end, for example, burned, you can say burned or burnt, depending. So I don't know how the platform will receive them, but either or are correct, okay? This is just an exception for a couple of verbs. A new exception.
How are you all doing? How are you guys doing? Hello, are you there? We are focused, teacher. <laughs> That's good. I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy you guys are working. Okay. Are you almost done or not really? No, no. Me. My my brain is fire on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Do you happen to have questions with any with some verbs that you're like, hmm, I don't remember the past. Ask me right now so I can tell you the answer. Any verbs you have some doubts with? Feed. Which one? Feed. 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 This one. Feed. Fed. Look. I, I'm pointing on my screen so you can fed and then it was past participle the same fed fed. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other guys that you might have doubts with? Ling. Which one? Ling. L E N D. This one. So it's lent and lent. Mm -hmm. Lent, okay. lent, mm -hmm. it's over. Unfortunately, I wish I had more time with you guys, but time's running up and I have to run to my next class. Um, but I will see you tomorrow and then you tell me what your scores were for all the three exercises you did today. For the two exams, if you were able to take like a screenshot. And for this one, you can also take a screenshot at the end and tell me what your score is, okay? You don't have to post it on the group. You can send me an um, individual text message on, on WhatsApp, okay? Because from all the guys that are in the group, only you guys are the ones who log into the classes. Not everybody does the exercise. So they might be like, what, what is this about, right? So you can mm -hmm. send it to me privately, okay? So you don't have to send it on the group. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Same place, same time, okay, okay. guys? Okay, thank, thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow, Bye. Bye. Good night.